Hey guys, today I'm here to do a review for you on the, uh, well at least new to my area. I don't know if this is new to everybody or if it's been around for a while. This is the Dr. Jart, um, what is it called? The original BB set. I've had this now for a few weeks. I picked it up during the Sephora VIB sale. And what it is, is essentially is a kit that comes with four of the Dr. Jart BB creams. Dr. Jart is a uh, Korean brand, so keep in mind that these aren't like your typical Western BB creams. These definitely have a little bit more coverage to them, um, with the exception of one, which is more like a tinted moisturizer, which I'll go through later. Um, and they have more of that pinky gray kind of a tone, but they do blend in pretty well to your skin if you're lighter like me. If you do have medium or darker skin tone, I would suggest skipping over these, as I think that the tones in them are just not going to flatter you and are going to make you look really ashy. Before I go too uh, on with this video, I do have a cold sore on my lip here, which is why it looks like I have something on my lips that I need to pick off, but it is just a cold sore. I got it just a few days ago because I've been super stressed out this past week. It has been one of the most stressful weeks of my entire life. I will update you guys more on that later, but um, anyway, whenever I get really stressed out, I always get a cold sore, so that little beauty popped up a few days ago, so I've been having to deal with that. Let's just try to ignore it's not there. I really need to film, and I know it's not going to go away for probably another week, so for the sake of getting up videos and, you know, keeping my channel rolling, um, we're just gonna have to put up with it for the time being. But as I was saying, each of these BB creams are half of a fluid ounce, which most foundations are one fluid ounce. So in a way, you're getting two uh, full-size foundations or two full-size BB creams here when you kind of think about it. Um, the BB creams that come in the set are the Renewalist. This is the anti-aging and brightening one. The Black Label Detox. This is your detoxifying, botanical, kind of like your... Um, amazing skincare kind of one. The Dr. Jart Premium BB Cream, this is probably the most uh, famous BB cream within the entire line. This is kind of like your all-in-one BB cream. Um, good coverage, anti-aging, uh, SPF, like just kind of everything that you would like in a BB cream. That's what that is supposed to be. And then your um, Water Fuse BB cream, this is supposed to be the 24-hour moisturization one, the one that's supposed to give you the most moisture out of the bunch. Keep in mind when I say that the Water Fuse is supposed to give you the most moisture, all of these are super moisturizing. Uh, with the water fuse, I don't know that it's particularly more moisturizing than any of these because I really see all these as being very, very moisturizing products. So I'm just going to go through each one here and kind of show you the pros and cons to them. We'll start with the Black Label Detox. This is one of my least favorite ones just because it broke me out. This does have a slightly deeper tone than some of the rest of them. Um, and when I say that, I mean it has more of like a peachy tone versus a pinky tone. So it might suit more that uh, light to medium type of skin tone range. Um, I see still don't think that if you're medium skin or you know if you're dark skin none of these are going to work for you but uh this might work more for the light to medium range and you know with my skin it just kind of warms it up a little bit what i didn't love about this is just that it broke me out um it really caused a lot of my pores to clog and i find that the whole detoxifying claim is a little bit out there just because no bb cream or foundation that you're going to put on your face is going to detoxify that just that just doesn't make sense you know if you want to detoxify your skin you drink a lot of water um, um, there's not really a whole lot of ways that you yourself can detoxify your skin, especially if you're putting makeup on. That's just, it's not going to work. Detoxifying claims, I think, are something that are made way too often in the skincare industry because it sounds nice. I mean, nobody wants to have toxins in their skin, but um, the best way to get rid of those, you know, is just to uh, really make sure that you're exfoliating your skin, you're drinking a lot of water, you have a good solid skincare routine, and I just don't feel like any BB cream or foundation you're going to put on is really going to help. So I find the claims to be a little bit ridiculous with this. Um, but I mean, it is a somewhat nice product. I just don't like that it really broke me out. Coverage on this is pretty light. Um, it's definitely not one of the most covering out of the bunch. I will talk about what is one of the most covering um, as we go on later into the BB creams. But um, I'd give it about light coverage. It blends pretty nicely. All these really do blend. Some are more creamy than others. I would say that this is kind of in between being the most creamy and being the least creamy. So it's kind of just like an in-between BB cream, and I find it to be okay. Let's move on to the Renewalist BB cream, the anti-aging one. This is one where I feel like if you have really pale skin, you'll love this, because it does have that brightening, whitening sort of effect. Um, as I mentioned, Dr. Jart is a uh, 
Korean brand. So in Korea, as you may know, a lot of women prefer that really white, bright kind of skin. Definitely nothing like how we love the tan skin here in the States. Um, in Korea, it's all about the palest, the whitest, the brightest skin. So this is a product that I think is more developed for that kind of a range of skin tones and just that market in general. Um, this does have some whitening properties in it, so some slight skin bleaching properties. So it will brighten and whiten your skin a little bit. Um, I find it, the texture of it to be, uh, again, not as creamy as some of them, definitely a little less creamy than this. It dries down to more of a matte finish. I would definitely say that this is more of a matte one within the bunch. Um, the Black Label Detox, by the way, it dries down to about a uh, semi-matte, very skin-like type of a finish, but this is definitely a bit more matte. It has a very pinky kind of an undertone to it and a little bit more thinner in consistency as you blend it. Let's move on to my two favorites, which are the Premium and the Water. Fuse. The premium BB cream is sort of just, I think, like a standout BB cream within the Dr. Dirt line. It's a BB cream that a lot of people tend to prefer with good reason. This one definitely has really good coverage. And by the way, the Renewalist has really, really great coverage as well. Um, this is definitely kind of leaning more towards like a foundation type of a coverage. And the premium BB cream is kind of on par with this coverage wise. It definitely has very, very nice coverage to it. Granted, it's not going to be anything like your full coverage foundation, and neither is this one. That's just not the way that BB creams are really formulated. I know some particularly from uh, Korea tend to have really, really good pigmentation and tend to cover a lot. These Dr. Dart ones aren't totally like that. They are a little bit better than like the glorified tinted moisturizers that we see over here in the States. Um, but you know, they're not anywhere near your medium or full coverage foundations. This BB cream here definitely has a slightly more uh, grayer tone to it. It's not a BB cream that I think if you have really warm skin, you will like just because it will make you look really ashy. Uh, for me, even though I do have a yellow undertone, I can definitely blend this into my skin, put some concealer on, and powder it with my normal powder, and it does look fantastic. I really love the finish of this. It's a little bit dewy. Um, I would say, you know, it's definitely a bit more dewy than this one. Um, it's pretty close, though, to the Black Label Detox. Um, maybe just a tad bit more dewy than that, just because it is so uh, moisturizing. But a great thing about this is that you really can just use a light layer of your moisturizer, pop this on and it really adds that extra moisture back into your skin, has pretty good coverage and all in all feels really light and good on this. Moving on to the water fuse, this is the one that I have definitely used the most out of this entire set. I think this is the one I'm going to run out of quickly as well because I love this. This has a more gel like consistency compared to the rest. It still is very creamy but there's something about it that feels uh, a tad bit more like gel on your skin. Um, it's probably the least covering out of the bunch. This is definitely more of like your tinted moisturizer. So if you have a lot of problem areas that you're trying to cover it up, I don't really think you'll enjoy this. It has a pretty nice light um, type of a tone to it. It's not trying to open it up to see. It's not too pink. It's not too yellow. It's pretty neutral, which is something else that I like about it is it's not like some of the others, which are really peachy or really pink or really gray. This actually has um, the best tone in it for my particular skin. And I just love the way it feels on my skin. It's super lightweight. Um, and it, while it is really moisturizing, I find that it doesn't look super dewy. It definitely does leave a little bit of a sheen to the skin, but I think coming into winter, I really like that look a little bit, even though I do prefer matte skin kind of year round. Um, you know, when my skin is really dry and if it's really flaky, especially around my nose, that's where I get the flakiest skin just kind of right around here, which is weird. I kind of get it in my T-zone. I don't know why, but my skin's just that way. I could see this one being one, though, that you either love or hate because of the texture and the consistency and just the coverage-wise. You may find that it's not enough for you. For me, it's perfect, and I really like the way it feels on the skin. All of these have about the same longevity. It really depends on if you powder on top of it, if you put a primer underneath it, if you you use setting uh, sprays like the Urban Decay ones, but by themselves, I'd give them about four hours before they really start to break down and they start to wear off. Or like some of the more moisturizing ones here, um, you know, the Water Fuse Premium and Black Label, um, they will start to break down a little bit faster than like the Renewless since this one's a bit more matte, and they'll just start to look a lot more oily. But if you do use a primer and then you powder on top of it, I find that you can get your eight to nine hours of wear so you can definitely get a full day wear out of these and then if you use a setting spray I mean you're good to go for as long as you need them. In case you're curious here are the swatches of the creams in the order that I went through them so the black label, the renewalist, the premium, and the water fuse. 
so you can kind of see the tones that I was talking about a little bit more here. All in all, I do really, really love this kit. I think that if you're new to BB creams and you're wanting to try some out, or if you love BB creams, you're wanting to add to your collection, or if you're just kind of curious to see what the Dr. Dart BB creams are like, like I was, I mean, I've used the premium before and I really liked it, and I was just curious to see how the other ones worked. I mean, I'm not a huge BB cream person, but um, the value of the set is amazing. This is $36, and like I said, you are sort of in theory here getting two full-size products and most of these BB creams retail for somewhere around that $34 mark a piece if you're gonna buy the full size so I think it's a great deal I got it for 20% off so I got even a better deal on it and with the holidays coming around you could definitely you know use a gift card or something to pick this up if this interests I just love being able to choose different options depending on what I want my skin to look like that day I can sort of pick and choose between these four and I just like you know having the options of them because they are all pretty different and yeah I just I really really enjoyed this entire kit I would definitely recommend it to you guys let me know if this is a product that you would be interested in picking up I'm sure you'll see a lot of these mentioned and some get ready with me's and some tutorials that I do here in the future so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later Bye bye